I'll call the meeting to order. It's, it's close enough to nine ten. <laughs> um, and there, there are several things we need to talk about. We certainly, I think most of it will be in executive session. We need to talk about the uh, the union negotiations. Oh. Oops. No, you're all set. Yes. We're all set? Okay. Um, but I I want us to talk about some, and I'm, I'm in uh, in a bit. Mark French has come down and join us. He actually has a hearing test up at the um has to meet somebody up at the garage for a hearing test at 9.30. So when he gets through, <laughs> assuming he can hear, uh, he, need, he needs to come down. Because I think we have, I don't think, I am certain that we have some personnel matters that we need to, that we need to discuss. And, and one of the things I'll say while we're still in open session is that um, I've got, here I was, <laughs> I was already for everybody to be here since I didn't make it last time. But I didn't get Ron to send them to. I got, uh, you know, I've got copies of the current job descriptions for the road foreman and for Ron. And um, talking with sort of everybody involved in bits and pieces about this, there were varieties of understandings and memories of what people's jobs are or what people agreed to do when they were hired or what they thought they were going to do when they were hired. And to me, a lot of that in some ways is irrelevant. What's important is I think we should we should take the time um, as a board and working with Ron and Mark to look at the current job descriptions and figure out what their jobs really are now. Certainly the world has done a bunch of changing. And um, <clears throat> and see how the job descriptions fit, and once those we get we do that, figure out what it is we do need if we do need additional help to have to get good efficiency out of the for, for the town. And again, I think that's all. Um, uh, most of that will be an open session, and, and I think maybe just get folks together to be able to go through things. But because part of this is certainly going to be dealing with um, personnel issues and personalities that needs to be done in executive session, and certainly the conversation about um, about union negotiations needs to be done in executive session. Um, Ron, you had one thing while I'm, I'm thinking of it. Do I dare try to find the email on my phone? Um, you got a request yesterday from John Mandeville, who's looking for a letter of yeah. support. Yeah, I can summarize for you. Uh, Saturday night, John Mandeville, who's working with the other uh, economic development corporations in Vermont, was looking um, through the grant application that's due um, to the Northern today. Border Regional Commission uh, by 5 o'clock today and thought that uh, it was lacking a little bit. So he wanted some letters of support from a couple towns. So he sent an email Saturday night saying, if you guys could help me out by, you know, Monday, get me a letter of support for this grant that the regional development corps are applying for, that'd be great. And here's a draft letter. So it wasn't a lot of work on my side, but he, the draft letter is, would come from Susan that says we support the um, regional development corps applying to the northern borders. And they're looking for funding to buy software, economic development and data uh, software package from somebody that specializes on uh, local, regional Vermont data. So they're they're going after uh, information that they don't have readily available now uh, between federal, national level data and local sort of like town by town data to help them do their regional outreach better for the town. So it's something they don't have now, but they would buy as a group so that all the Vermont regional development courts would have access to the new information and help them apply their annual budget money better to serve you know, economic uh, revitalization or recovering from COVID or whatever their priorities are at the regional level. So the letter of support would basically say that we support you guys going for this grant for new information to help you do your job better and pay for that through the northern borders. There's no local match requirement, just the only thing they're asking is a letter of support. Yeah, I can't well and I would I would think <clears throat> as the world becomes more and more complex, the better data people have, no matter on what level you are, 
the better your position to apply for grants, looking for people to give you more money. So I don't, I don't have any problem with it. Anybody, anybody else got any feelings one way or the other? I don't have no problems with it. Yeah, Dave. Nothing with Dave. Okay. Um, then I guess I need a motion to uh, to do the letter of support and give me the authority to sign it. So move. Second. <laughs> okay. Okay. How do I do all this? Um, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Aye. Okay. Ron, I'll talk to you after and I'll figure out how to do it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Now, I guess to talk about contracts and, and this sort of stuff, I need a motion to go into executive session. So moved. Got a first. Okay. So all in favor. Yep. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody? Okay.